हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल क्वेस्ट फॉर नॉलेज सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वील लर्न ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट चैप्टर्स अबाउट विच आई हैव टोल यू इन द बिफोर वीडियोस सो फर्स्ट इन बोलियन एल्जिब्रा यू कैन गेट एज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डुअलिटी फॉर टू मार्क्स देन डिफाइन टोटोलॉजी फैलिसी मिन टर्म एंड मैक्स टर्म दिस टू यू कैन गेट फॉर टू मार्क्स देन देर विल बी अ क्वेश्चन इन टू मार्क्स लाइक state and proof so and so theorem that will be like in important law complementary law in evolution law cumulative law and associative law so you have to state those theorem and you have to prove those theorem and not only associative law then they can ask as distributive law also for three marks you can get a question as state and proof de morgan's first theorem or state and proof de morgan's second theorem so you have to write this statement for it and you have to prove it by using gates and by using the truth table then in four mark only you can get a question as general structure of single variable k map two variable k map three variable k map or four variable k map and in the before video i have discussed how to make the k maps so here are some questions for your practice now let's move on to the next chapter that is data structure in data structure you have to learn the definitions of classifications of data structure like define data structure define primitive data structure define non primitive data structure and examples of primitive data structure that is integer float and character in non primitive there are two types of non primitive data structure that is linear data structure and non linear data structure examples for linear data structure is array stack queue and linked list and example for non linear data structure is trees and graphs there can be a two mark or three mark question that will be difference between linear search and binary search then they can they can ask you a three marks question like application of stack and queue and types of queue uh, we can expect that as three marks also and five marks also then three marks question such as operation performed performed by array or linear data structure operation performed by stack and operation performed by queue then algorithms 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 can be expect expected for 3 marks and 5 marks both for 3 marks the algorithm will be like push an item on stack pop an item from stack insert an element into queue and delete an element from queue for 5 marks the question can be like algorithm for linear search algorithm for binary search and al algorithm for insert insertion sort out the above four and the below three from both one question is compulsory they'll ask one question then let's move on to the next chapter that is constructor and destructor in constructor and destructor the questions can be like what is constructor and what are its types what is destructor rules for writing constructor features of default default constructor rules of default constructor and characteristics of destructor characteristics of constructor and explain default constructor and explain parameterized constructor all the above questions will be asked for 3 marks and the last two questions that is explain parameterized constructor and explain default constructor we can expect it for 5 marks from the next chapter that is function overloading function overloading in that you can get as function overloading meaning and advantages inline function characteristics advantages and disadvantages and friend function meaning and characteristics i haven't given basic concepts of oops and objects and classes but that too is a very important question the questions can be like important features or characteristics of oops so you have to write objects classes data encapsulation polymorphism inheritance data abstraction and all that and they can ask for one or two marks to define these features like define class define object define polymorphism define data abstraction like that and the two mark very important question is limitations of oops or we can call it as disadvantages of oops and syntax of class definition and what is the purpose of access specifier and for five marks we can expect difference between oop and pop that is object oriented programming and procedure oriented programming then for five marks only then for five marks only we can expect define the important 
features or characteristics or explain the important features of characteristics of oops then five marks an important question we can expect as applications of oops or advantages of oops in both this anyone can come then explain the class definition with syntax and example explain defining member function within the class and outside the class explain how object of a class can be used and the last question that we can accept expect is describe the use of access specifier in a class thank you so much for being in this video till end if you found this video helpful then please do like comment share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you won't miss my latest video thank you and all the best